So hello and welcome. Let's now disassemble this machine. This is Seiko Pico Barista. Uh, HD, oh no, SM5460. Uh, this machine made in uh, 21st year. Uh, so now let's disassemble it. First of all, let's take out brew unit. As simple as always, push the button uh, and take this out. After, let's take out dispenser and after take out drip tray, pushing two buttons from from left and from right, right, and uh, take it out. This is was simple. Uh, so now uh, will be more interesting part. Uh, let's take out uh, this frame. Uh, it holds by one screw uh, in the bottom of the coffee spout. Unscrew it and uh, take your hand like I do from left and, and from right, right from this panel and move uh, these corners outside and gently uh, move it towards yourself and put it to the back. Mm. Now we can see our display. So let's move this display out of the machine. Uh, we need a uh, disattached uh, cable. Uh, help yourself with uh, such tool like stick or maybe a small screwdriver. Gently move it left to right, left to right and disattach it from the panel. After we must uh, disattach this cable with four black wires. And after pushing our stick uh, from these holes, let's take out the frame what holds our display board. Uh, you must push uh, to these uh, sides of the our frame. This one holds it and this one. Next, our move take out our top uh, panel of the machine. Uh, take out a water tray, uh, water container, I mean. A cover uh, from the beans container and unscrew two screws in beans container and three screws on the water tray housing water tray water container i mean uh, on this model there is two in other models uh, there can be about three screws uh, after let's unscrew central holding screw of the grinder it holds such a head uh, and last one uh, screw would hold our panel from the front side let's try to get it out if you move not gently like just I do you will you can lose this uh, plastic part, so be gentle and accurate. Uh, I recommend it push uh, this uh, mushroom or something like this to down to disattach it from the grinder. Now, when you move up your cover, uh, disconnect water tube and disconnect a wire of the water sensor. Release it from the hooks and move it uh, from the connector. 
So now we inside our machine. Uh, let's disattach grinder. It uh, holds in machine just by two wires, white and black. Uh, don't forget how we was connected because uh, it's very uh, critical. Uh, our grinder, so put it in the back. Uh, our machine looks inside very good. It looks like a new one. So it didn't have any leaks. This is very good because of course this machine got uh, two or three years of usage. It's just like a new one. So uh, next one, let's unscrew screw from this side. Uh, from the back of the grinder. And uh, next screws will be in this uh, part of the machine. Take out uh, this uh, tray, little. Uh, it has uh, broken parts and it must be replaced. Uh, I think uh, people what uh, got this machine was very nervous. So they broke some parts of the machine when we try to clean it maybe I don't know uh, next one move uh, let's unscrew four screws what holds a uh, cover of the uh, water nose uh, my idea about nervous people uh, get evidences just look on this panel I don't know what reason was uh, to give it some scratches uh, next one move, mm, let's unscrew, uh, let me show you, uh, four screws, one, two, three, four, let's give some light to our work, one, two, Three, four, done with, and uh, next two screws will be here. It holds. Uh, oh, let me show you here and here. It holds this panel. I uh, we must unscrew it because it will uh, give. Not let us do it. Take outside machine main frame. So now we unscrew mm. only two screws is last. Unscrew them and let's take out our main frame. Just push it. Uh, I recommend it uh, clean this. Uh, case of the machine uh, because this time it collects uh, coffee dust and coffee mud. Of course, uh, you didn't want uh, this in your machine, so clean it. Next one, move. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Let me show you. Uh, so, uh, this machine got standard problem. Uh, it broke these rings. Uh, as you can see, it got cracks and uh, lost some parts of these rings. So, of course, we must uh, replace them and uh, take and repair of all this part. Uh, disassemble it, it clean it. And as you can see, this machine got another problem uh, this problem where people tries to maybe clean by screwdriver this part or I even don't understand how we do this but now we must replace all this uh, plastic part of the machine I got and an used one so I will of course change it I hope you didn't get such problem in your machine because I 
see it in first time. Uh, let me show you another part. Uh, this time you can uh, you will be see some uh, scale on this um, tube and boiler uh, connections. If you got this problem, you must uh, replace this tube to new one because this time this uh, tube uh, will be more plasticky and don't uh, hold uh, connection well. Uh, mm -mm. Some machine this time broke this tri triangle, uh, trident. Uh, and if it has leaks, of course, you must replace it too. It may be electro valve, uh, but uh, when it got problems, uh, when you didn't get water from this spout, didn't get steam, didn't get um, any milk beverages, if you got uh, this problem, address it to this electro valve. Uh, and maybe 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 sometimes uh, we can got problem with brew unit uh, what it can be it can broke with uh, water inlet uh, pot it can broke rings or if and this time it got some uh, scratches on cylinder so these uh, all problems what you can get. Now I hope you clean your machine and assemble it easily uh, again. And in addition, let's uh, take out this plastic part what uh, was broken on my machine. Maybe it will help you in some cases, of course. Uh, let's unscrew this water inlet nose. Uh, how to disassemble it? Just uh, clockwise push this black part and turn it a little bit. And after take it out and take a look at the, this ring. It, it, if uh, they need to be replaced, of course, I recommend it. And take a look on this uh, part. It uh, must look like a new one with uh, four ears. On its places. If it looks okay, you can um, put it inside. But let me show you. My uh, get some angle, so of course I need to replace it because it don't works like it should. Let me show you. It uh, looks not right, of course. So. This is uh, one more problem of this machine when it broke with uh, black mushroom. Mm. Now I unscrew two screws by this black part and um, now I show you uh, the part what I think is uh, get some troubles in the machine. Uh, this micro switch you must test it because um, all uh, evidence uh, on this machine show us what uh, it got uh, some problems near brew unit or brewing system. Uh, so this problem can uh, we achieve when you got uh, this micro switch what didn't uh, works as it should should uh, it, it clicks in uh, the wrong moment uh, take a look at these gears does it have all teeth because this problem can be to when uh, one of the teeth is broken and your machine clicks when moves in moving uh, brewing unit so that's all for now if you got some questions write me and i will help you